In this video, we're going to discuss output stream and system.out. So programs in Java need a way to display output. And an output stream class provides several overloaded methods for writing output to an output device, such as your monitor or screen. System.out, which you should already be familiar with, is the system standard output, typically your monitor screen or the console window when you're running it, your program in Eclipse. The out variable that follows the class system is a reference derived from the output stream class called a print stream. And print and print line are two methods that are used for displaying output. Let's take a quick look at an example. Here we have a very basic hello world Java program with the main method that is empty. So let's print out hello world to the screen. And notice that we type system first system class and we call the out reference variable which is an object of the print stream class and that has its own method called print and print line. Let's use the print line one and just print out hello world to the screen. Run the program and there is the output. It's printing out on the console of your screen and that's pretty much it. The difference between print line and the print method is that print line will print out the statement and print out a blank space after it. So two of these will print out on separate lines. But if I erase the ln, it's going to print out hello world, hello world without the carriage return. And you could always just put a backslash n in there or change print to print line to get that in there. And what seems a little bit weird about this code right here is that usually have an object calling a method. So out is the object and print and print line are the methods. And this is a public object. That's why there's no get output stream type methods. It's just system dot out. System is a class and out is the static final print stream object called out. And that has its own methods. Just remember system.out.println will just print out whatever it is in those parentheses. And also know that print and print line are both overloaded methods, so you can basically put almost whatever you want in there and it should try to print it out in some way.